Hi, this is a tutorial for a Halo Bubble Shield. Um, this is the footage we started with of my brother going into armor lock. It's in slow motion. You see it now. Um, you can see there's two tracking points next to him. Make a note, this is the tutorial for the Bubble Shield only, like the bubble part. Not for... you can still... it'll look a lot better if you add stock footage and lens flares and energy stuff like that. It's just for the Okay, so to start off, I duplicated my clip, took just split it to just the part that I wanted the bubble shield on, and then to that clip I added an insect eye effect, which basically just makes it into hexagons. Um, I messed with the color, making it yellow, messed with the border size and the size of the hexagons themselves until I got the effect that I wanted. Just fine-tuned it. You can do whatever you want here. Um, um, so then what I did was I went and I added a bunch of different other little distortion effects. Um, like, just different stuff to make the shield ripple a little bit. Fine-tuned them. Just messed with it. Saw what looked cool, which is basically everything that the non-math part of visual effects, I guess. Um, so anyway, I just added a bunch of different effects, messed with them, saw what looked cool. And yeah, that's basically what I was doing. It's all optional, it's all just having fun, it's whatever you want to do. Okay, then what I did was I went to the library and I added a sphere effect. Basically, it takes your flat image and wraps it into a 3D sphere. It's not in 3D space, but you can rotate it around. Um, it might be useful for like making a planet or something that you want to rotate, like you just take a map. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm um, rotating it, putting it to the right spot that I want it, um, moving it down a little bit, just trying to get it to where I want it. Um, my mouse is kind of jumpy, so it's really hard to do. Um, just messing with the scale, seeing what looks cool. Um, you can even do the same effect of the bubble shield without having it warp the person in the bubble shield. I just like having it warp them because I think it looks cool, but you can do it where what you do is you would add the hexagon thing to a, just a square, like a shape that you added and then just make the shape zero opacity. So then you just get the hexagonal grid and then you could warp that. Um, and it would be not as distorted if you wanted to have like a dialogue shot or something. Um, but I just like the distortion thing. Right now, I went to a frame where he wasn't as blurred since he wasn't moving, and then just started messing with the levels of distortion that I had added before so I could see better what looked good and what didn't. Okay, so then what I did is I started messing with the sphere a little bit more because I wasn't quite satisfied with the way it looked. Um, I thought it looked kind of weird with the way the depth was. Um, then I added a circle mask to it, saved it because it was starting to go slow and I didn't want to lose all my work, which I've done before, like a retard. Um, so then anyway, I started moving out the circle mask, making it look realistic, so that I could get a semicircle look, so it looked like it's ending at the ground. I added a blur to the whole thing so it would match the way my footage was, because my footage was shot on my computer camera, which is a terrible camera. Um, and I went to the mask and up to the feather, like a little too much. Um, went down to three. Okay, then what I did was um, I went into behaviors and got an analyze motion and I analyzed the original um, the original clip on the tracking points that we had set and I just went through it and analyzed everything pretty perfectly which is why you set tracking points rather than trying to find them. It's always better to set them because this time I didn't remove them but it is possible to remove them. Um, then I just grabbed a match move, used the analyze motion, turned on everything but rotation because that screwed me over before and it didn't work. Um, now that I look back, I shouldn't have done scale either because it kind of made it jump around a lot. The rotation and scale in motion is not that good. I would have should just gone with position. Um, yeah, so anyway, what I did next was I went through every glow there was and just saw it looked cool. Um, all of them were awful or at least most of them were. Some of them were really cool looking, but they weren't what I wanted. Some of them were borderline gay. Um, anyway, most of them were pretty bad. Um, so eventually I decided to use the one 
that I always use. Um, right now I'm trying to see if I can use that, which um, I can't because it sucks. Um, and there's no feather for it, so there's no way I can do it. So I just um, tried the last glow there was, which didn't work. It ended up looking like a psychedelic mess. It looks kind of cool, but anyway, I went with light rays. With my favorite glow, I use it on every explosion, I use it on every muzzle flash. It just makes everything look so much cooler. I added some actual glow to it, made it brighter, and then added a tint, and I tinted it gold. Um, so as you'll notice, the Halo Shield really just appears out of nowhere. Um, so I started animating it, so it started really small on Liam's hand and then started getting a turn on keyframing and then had it get bigger and had the center of it change so that it wouldn't look really flat and would have to be really big to cover him completely. Um, messed with that a little bit, then I added a gl uh, messed with the light rays, keyframed it so it started really big so it looked like when he hit the ground it like set off some sort of bomb thingy. Um, I went forward to the point and whoa that looks scary so I set it down to normal, actually a little more than what was normal before, and it looks pretty darn good. If I were to do this again, I wouldn't have used the size in it, um, but what I would have done also is I would have added some um, like light flares and some more stuff, and also I would have shot it in a wide shot so that I can make the shield bigger and made sure there was nothing around it so that the shield wouldn't like go over something. But this was just a test shoot, and it came out pretty good. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.